you know, I failed Dak, I failed Jace because I went there for him. And then more importantly, I failed my mom's memory because I didn't do what she's always asked me to do. I didn't keep her boys safe. Had also mentioned the burden that the cancer had on Jace because he was with her, you know, day in, day out when she was going through all of that. Uh, what do you know about that? Yeah, I mean, all of us were mama boys, uh, but um, I remember when I, when initially she told me that uh, she had it, she was like, you're not coming home. Don't worry about that. You're not transferring to a school around here. You're staying out there where you want to be. But Jace at the time was finishing with school and uh, was home, was with her. And I mean, watched, watched it. Uh, she couldn't necessarily hide it from Jace because he was there every day. He saw the times where she, she would have to spend probably 10 plus hours throwing up, this and that, and saw the medicine she had to take. And um, almost you can't even put into words the burden. Uh, I mean, it's something only Jace knew. Uh, and he didn't necessarily share that. And Jace has never was really much of a talker. Um, so when something like that was a huge burden on him, uh, he didn't know how to share it. He didn't know how to, to, to be vulnerable about it. How do you think it impacted him? Immensely. My mom was everything to all of us. Uh, and each boy would swear that they're my mom's favorite. Uh, but that just gives credit to her. So um, I know it did. Uh, but I could never tell you how much. I wouldn't even want to try to measure it. And then this off season, uh, Tad's fiance get, gets a call from Jace's longtime girlfriend with the news. Um, how, how did you find out what happened? It's crazy. All throughout this, this quarantine and this off season, I started experiencing emotions I've never felt before. Um, anxiety for the main one. And then, honestly, a couple of days before my brother passed, I would say I started experiencing depression. Didn't know necessarily what I was going through, uh, to, to say the least. Um, and hadn't been sleeping at all. Um, but for one reason, one night, um, I sleep the best I've slept missing probably 10 plus calls from, from Tad and giving my dad enough time to come in my bedroom and tell me what had happened. Um, and so I woke up, probably the best night of sleep I've ever had in 2020 uh, for the, from the worst news. Uh, that I've, Some of the worst news I'll ever get. I'm reading this message and I don't believe it. Like I, I literally get up like it's an, like, oh my God, my brother just accidentally shot himself. You know, like, um, oh, he shot himself in the, in the foot or he shot himself in here. And then I get the message, no, he, he shot himself in the head. What was your reaction? Uh, I mean, obviously tears and tears and tears, but I mean, I sat there and tried to, to gather what had happened um, and wanted to ask why for so many reasons. It was like the sense of, of all these emotions coming off of my back and wiped up my tears probably after crying for 30 minutes with my dad and my, uh, and, and my, my best friends who were all came to, you know, con to console me and to be there. Getting to Dak's house, I, I just couldn't bring myself to go inside yet. Like I just couldn't see Dak because I truly felt like, I felt like I'd fail both him and my mom because that was my, Because the last thing she told me was that it was my job and that I had been prepared my entire life to keep us together. And then after she passed, the, fir the first words Jay said to me was, you have to be strong enough for all of us. And I really thought I was. Like, I really thought I was. So for, 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 for him to be in so much pain or whatever it was that was going on. And again, me not to recognize it because I literally just saw my brother three days before it all happened and, you know, everything seemed fine. And then, so I get the message that, that he's gone and it's like, you know, I just, I failed them all. You know, I failed Dak, I failed Jace because I wasn't there for him. And then more importantly, I failed my mom's memory because I didn't do what she's always asked me to do. I didn't keep her boys safe. But you know that's not your fault. You did everything you could if you'd known. Yeah, if, 
if, but like I said, I still feel like I should have. Have you guys talked about that at all? No, no, not at all. Really, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't think he and I have talked about it at all, really. So that's probably something when I get home I need to, to do. And I don't know how each of us are processing it because, again, I think it's still something in the back of our minds that we know is, is real, but it's like there's no way this is real. You know, and the moment you, the moment you talk about it, especially the moment you talk about it between he and I, it becomes real. You know, so I don't know if, if that's the way that we're both protecting each other from it or whatever it is. The plan had been to get both Jace and Tad uh, to Dallas. You were going to help them uh, get homes, uh, I think, nearby you. And Tad and your Aunt Valerie said uh, that after Jace's passing, there was almost a sense of urgency to get Tad here. Um, how much do you agree? Yeah, it was. I mean, I told him, you're not going back home. You're coming. I know my mom is what she would want. Uh, so that was kind of my purpose of, hey, l l l I want y'all to come to Dallas, right? There's more opportunity here than where you are. Uh, I want to be close to y'all again. So, I mean, I'm just glad Tad's, Tad's been able to make that uh, and be here uh, with me in Dallas. How would you most like Jace to be remembered? Big smile, the most athletic human being I've ever met. And anybody and everybody that knows him would agree. Uh, a crazy athlete, but such a big heart. Um, I'll never get another hug in my life like the ones he gave. I mean, he was my best friend, and as much as you want to ask why, as much as this, I mean, I know my brother. And as we said, he had a lot of burdens on him. He had a lot of tough things. And, and, and my sense of saying that is, it showed me of how vulnerable we have to be as humans, how open we have to be, um, because our adversity, our struggles, what we go through, um, is always going to be too much for ourselves and maybe too much for even one or two people, but never, never too much um, for a community or never too much for, for, for the people and the family that you love. So we have to share those things. Mm -hmm.